welcome, welcome. <laughs> it's Sunday morning, and or yes, it's it's Sunday morning still. I'll tell you when it's uh, the afternoon. <laughs> we should be in like five minutes. So that's okay. Uh, I'm Govier Go Home, and this is the Sunday brunch kit builds. Uh, every Sunday, or almost every Sunday, I like to show up and do a live, and sometimes I will build a kit. Sometimes I will work on the layout, uh, or I'll do some graffiti or weathering on some of my rolling stock. Last week, and I'm pretty sure it was last week, um, I did some weathering and whatnot, and I had so much fun doing it that I think I'm going to do it again today. I've got a couple of cars here that are just too clean, you know? So we'll be uh, we'll be working on some of those. And I'll be able to finish one of the cars that I had started last week. And I'll, I'll let you see that in a minute. Uh, I dropped it earlier. <laughs> it's okay for the most part. Uh, it still works. It still works. It's still good. But, um, you know, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> I think one of the little step things fell off. And I have no idea where it is now. But because there's so much going on on the car... Uh, I don't think anyone will notice anyways. Uh, in typical fashion for uh, the Sunday brunch kit build, I do put the link to StreamYard, to the the, uh, the video, in the chat there. If you want to come aboard, uh, talk some trains, maybe you're working on your layout or a kit of some sort, um, you know, jump on and... Uh, Keep it train related and we will have a great time and we can share that with everybody maybe you got some tips and tricks that you want to share as well um yeah the beard yeah the beard is getting out of control i think <laughs> it's not even this isn't even my winter beard yet I, I shed this one before winter and then the the winter one comes in uh, and it's a lot uh stronger if you will but uh yeah <laughs> We've got some people that have already showed up. They're in the chat patiently waiting to get started on today's projects. We got Trackside Mike, as always. Hey, Mike, how's it going today? And Eminem Rails. Woohoo! And we've got They Make It Like That. That's Tim. Tim from They Make It Like That. Derail Daryl. And uh, Daryl, he does a lot of uh, live streams as well. And if you enjoy watching the uh, the trains and whatnot, so you, if you want to go check them out, I highly recommend it as well. Uh, we also have Perry, Trains by Perry. Hey, Perry, how's it going? Perry, I forgot to mention, I've got a couple of guys coming up from Toronto uh, just like the, well, the, the next long weekend on, on Sunday. So we're all going to... Um, Smith Falls to do some rail fanning. You should really come with. I think Bubs is coming as well. And uh, you, sh you should definitely show up. That's on a Sunday. I think it's the 4th of uh, September we're doing that. We're going to go and spend the day. I think I'm going to pack a cooler full of uh, cooler beverages. And uh, we'll have a day. We'll make a day. Catch some trains, hopefully. And uh, we also have David Z to G. How's it going, David? and John 2618, and Dan's Model Railroading Journey. Good morning to everybody. Good morning, good morning. And if my clock is correct, yeah, it's still morning. <laughs> I was hoping to have a Simpsons moment where I say, good morning to you, sir, and good afternoon to you, ma'am. Uh, it just passed 12 o'clock while I was talking, so my statement was completely accurate. But it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to because it is currently noon. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Let's get started. So, um, yes, Bub's back. Actually, he, he stopped by this morning uh to drop something off and to pick up a couple of his locomotives that he left because he's back in town which is it's really nice to see him after like two three months so uh and he brought one of my barrel ore cars back to me because i i had doubles i was given a freebie 
from uh, Rapido. They were really good to me and they sent one of these out uh, long before they even hit the shelves. So I had, I had a double number. And if you know me and I know me, I hate having doubles. Ugh. But I like making the long trains. So Bubs offered to take one of my doubles and uh, he basically, he removed the number or part of the number and then he replaced it with a new number. Uh, so this is 6611 and uh, he changed it on the ends. He changed it on both sides of the car, both ends. And then he even did a, a light weathering there for me and uh, it looks great. I, I can't wait to add this. Oh, he also did the wheels as well. That's right. That's right. Uh, and he, um, yeah, he does stuff like that. Uh, he offered to do it. And I said, yeah, why not? I appreciate it. So I'm going to add that to my wall after because I have a whole bunch of ore cars on my wall. None of them are weathered or anything. So this is the only weathered one so far. But it just means I have my work cut out for me, I guess, right? But uh, yeah, I wanted to give him a shout out. I think he'll be jumping on here later. Uh, he had to go pick up a one of his locomotives from uh, our buddy Tristan, who does a lot of custom work and DCC stuff. You've probably seen him on my channel before. He's shown up on some lives and whatnot. So I'll just move that over to there for now. Uh, so yeah, last week, last week I uh, I started some graffiti on a car, and uh, it turned out okay. I, I got some positive feedback and some funny comments. Uh, I yeah, I don't know. I'm still like I'm still in it. Alexis is stealing the show again. Really, really, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Speaking of black cats, um, this is the car I did. Uh, we've got Felix the cat on there, and uh, we've got I put uh, now. Some people have said that looks like it says Jesus, but it, it actually says jealous. <laughs> and uh, you know, either or, either or. But um, yeah, and then we've got Liv over on the other side with Felix, and uh, there's kind of like a swirl portal there. Little twisted, little twisted, right? So I did this using the the paint markers and whatnot, and uh, I've already sealed it. So I'm gonna weather it just to kind of finish it off. And on this side, I've just got the one little decal. No, there's actually there's a couple. Yeah, there's some little markings down here. Uh, bogus is here, and then there's you. You have to be up close to see it because the yellow throws it off, right? But uh, yeah. But I'm gonna weather this. And then I've got a couple of other cars here, mostly gondolas still, right? And uh, there's some stuff that I wanted to do with these as well. I think I'm going to do that first because that's going to take a while to dry. Now, what I do with most of my cars is uh, I prefer doing prototypical graffiti and whatnot on them to match the real one. But in the cases where I can't find a prototype photo or it's just too boring, I will, in some cases, kind of do my own thing. And that's what I'm going to do with this one here. I had an idea um, for one that I wanted to do. So I'm just going to do it and hope for the best. Uh, but that involves whiting out like four of these do we see okay yeah we see involves weighing out four of these little center sections here so i'm gonna go i'm gonna do this one Okay, so there's one. Okay. 
And it's okay if I get a little bit of paint in these other areas here because this is all gonna imagine somebody had spray painted this so they don't really use uh, tape to tape off areas here they just go in spray it get it done and then move on and we've got uh, John 2618 yet yeah, we've seen you and oh uh, do, 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 Brian and Dwight Curley, how's it going? Anthony Borden, how's it going? And CP3 368 Productions. Yeah, who's actually awake at this time? Ugh. <laughs> Let's I got a call from from Bubs, and uh, I was still in bed. He's like, "Hey, I'm almost at your house," and I'm like, "Hey, I'm I'm still in bed." <laughs> Mind you, I had to get up anyways because I had to take my wife to work, so that was necessary. All right. So that's really all I had to do with this car for now. I'm just going to make this uh, white a little bit whiter. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's all I need to do with that car for now. That'll dry, and uh, then I'll do the rest of it after. That's really that's all I wanted to do. Because... Uh, yeah. All right. So now weathering, weathering this car. Um, mm -hmm. So I think that I'm going to do uh, a very mild job here. Very mild, nothing too crazy. We might do a little bit of a uh, grimy, actually there's dirty yellow too. I wouldn't mind doing some dirty yellow first because it's a yellow car. So we can kind of use some sort of thing here to kind of make this yellow not seem so yellow anymore. Although, I do want to try the white and maybe if I can lighten up this... Uh, What do I want to do? Um, I think, yeah, you know what? I'm going to try the white first because I'm kind of experimenting here to see how I can do this. And I haven't even opened this one yet. So I really want to lighten this whole thing up here. Mostly just the yellow. Hopefully everybody's doing well today, and uh, yeah, I posted a video this morning, it, finally, 
my uh, my two year anniversary for starting my uh, my layout. And uh, let me tell you, everybody is so nice. We really do have one of the best communities and and whatnot because uh, everybody being really nice and super supportive and you know that's what it's all about, right? We're just helping each other and yeah everyone's really cool about everything Uh, I don't have a block detector on my layout. I have blocks, technically. Um, each level is a block, and the helix is its own block. So technically, I do have blocks, but I don't have any block detection yet. Um, that might be something I experiment with later, because... Um, I haven't even really dabbled with signals or a signal system yet. And that's uh, that's something that I wouldn't mind getting into. But uh, getting there. Getting there, everything takes time, right? And especially when it comes to electrical stuff, I'm not really a, a fan of electrical and, and doing all that and whatnot so I try to uh, avoid it if I'm being honest Okay, so now I kind of want to try this uh, dirty yellow here. I'm not going to go too high with this uh, dirt because, um, as you can imagine, most of the dirt that are on these cars get kicks up from the ground, right? So,
doesn't really show too much, but you know, it's going to be the subtle things that are going to make the biggest difference here, I think. Uh, and then we want to go with a dark earth so that we can add some more grime right along here. It's going to go. We're going to keep it low. You'll really be able to see this on the uh, the ends of the car more so. And I still have the stickers on here. Well, not stickers, but the uh, the tape uh, where everything needs to be, you know, where the numbers need to show. So I still technically need to take those off. But I'll do that as soon as this uh, weathering part here is done. Kind of, you can kind of see it, but you, at the same time, you can't really. <laughs> I, I really uh, wish that it did show up a little bit better, but um, I think it's just the lighting. It is what it is, though. At least the ends will look really nice. And the top for sure, because the top definitely needs to be. Might as well do that while I'm here. Oh, hey, Bubs. Welcome, welcome. I was just showing off the car that you, you did for me there. I don't know if I... I remember if I posted it already. I'm pretty sure I did, but yeah, if anybody wants to join. Or people are just having fun watching. It's the kind of thing where you can... It's like golf, right? <laughs> you can watch golf, or you can play golf. Sometimes it's funner to play golf than watch golf, but I don't mind. Either or.
What is it? Do you, have, do you have an opinion that you'd like to share with everybody? No? Yes? No? Okay. Just want to give you your, you know, your time to share your opinion. So what is, what is everybody working on today? Like me over here, you know, breaking a sweat while I'm doing this car here. What is everybody else working on? <laughs> Hopefully everybody's having a good summer too. Shoot, it's almost over. I like that, but I want to add a light rust to kind of brighten it. Might mix in a little dark rust too, just to. I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not pro at this or anything, but these powders make you feel like you're pro. <laughs> if you ever want to feel professional, <laughs> get some powders and away you go. Yeah, I'd probably add a bit of dark to that. Um, dark rust, yeah. Because that's, that's bright. That's very bright uh, for what I'm seeing anyways. I have to get more of these little sponge things too. Actually, I might, uh, might try something different here. I'm going to use a Q-tip. And I'm going to see if, if I can darken some of this with uh, Not bad. Keeping in mind, you don't want to overly rust things because what happens when things rust? They fall apart and they are no longer good. And usually when things are rusted out and whatnot, they usually get either patched or cut up, um, repurposed, or pulled from service. So you want to make sure that if you are weathering and you're making it look, you know, 
kind of weathered. You want to make sure that it's still usable because uh, it's one thing I think a lot of people forget is that if, it, if it's too weathered, if it's too grimy, like uh, rusted, then uh, it's in, in a sense, it's not prototypical because they wouldn't continue to use something in service if it's that worn out. Looks okay. Oops. All right, so I'm just going to turn this around for a minute. You guys will be looking at that side, sort of. Now, I want to want to lighten this up first with the white and then we'll go over the uh, other spots here the grime and whatnot I'm just going to repeat the same process that I used on the on this side but on this side and uh, should be good The white does tend to lighten it up uh, quite a bit, but I just hate how the white powder collects in these corners here and on the edges, especially if it's like if it's an overly riveted car, you're going to get a lot of buildup of that, um, that powder, but it does lighten it up, so it does work a little bit here working for what I need it to do anyways because um, these cars normally they're left out in the sun and that yellow wouldn't be that bright after years of service my other alternative would be repainting the car and I got to be honest with you probably wouldn't do that It's the same thing with locomotives, right? Like to get a really good, proper weather job, you would have to paint the locomotive as if it's, you know, weathered to get like a really good and accurate colorways. So we're making uh, lemonade out of lemons right now. Yeah, see, I just find that with it being a yellow car, this, uh, this powder should lighten it up quite a bit. And it does look, it does look lighter. Uh, 
Uh, I still have to strip it, uh, Perry. Um, I don't know, soon. <laughs> I know it was really bothering you. You saw it on the uh, in the video, and you're like, that definitely needs to match a little bit better. And I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, I should I should get on that. It's on my list. I have a list, and it's a long list. It's not a great list, but it's a list. And uh, I feel like there's not enough hours in the day to complete said list. You guys know what I'm talking about. I should make weathered, rusty boxcar or caboose to put on a forgotten track set off in the woods with uh, hobos sitting around a fire. Well, it's funny that you mentioned that. And I'm hoping that I complete it by the time that I'm supposed to post it. But I'm actually doing a project for uh, keeping track. Now, Keeping Track is my monthly show, one of them anyways, and uh, usually I, you know, I, I have a series of things that I normally do in, in the video, and it's typically about 30 minutes to 45 minutes long, and it always airs before GVO After Dark, usually 7 o'clock, Thursday, last Thursday of the month. Uh, and there's different segments, right? Like I'll review something, I'll unbox something, I will do rail fanning clips, you know, stuff like that. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but go check it out. I do have a playlist of Strictly Just Keeping Track, so you can catch up at any time. And uh, this month, this month I actually started a project where I'm making a diorama. And it's not just any diorama. It's a diorama using a picture frame. So this is a, a picture frame that, you know, you can get from a picture frame store or whatever. But I just I went to the dollar store and I got a picture frame. And I'm making a diorama with it. It's perfect for a coffee table and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it's just a neat little project. And I've got a whole bunch of mini prints that I plan to put on this uh, diorama and there's a track and whatnot and I might be doing something very similar to what you had suggested there so it's very ironic that you you mentioned it because uh, you know there is a forgotten track and I'm gonna rust it out and whatnot and scenic the whole thing and it, it fits just inside a picture frame which is neat and then you put it on in the you know on your coffee table or whatever. So if you're interested in that, just watch for keeping track at the end of the month. And hopefully I have it done by then. Because uh, it's quite the process, you know, filming something while you're making something. And... So, but yeah, I'm having fun doing it. Something different than the layout, you know? I don't mind working on the layout and whatnot, but sometimes, you know, it's good to step away and do something different and try different skills. Try to, you know, try to learn some tricks and techniques that you can eventually apply to your, your layout and whatnot. Yeah, it looks all right. Uh, I'm going to need a new one. New brush. But also, uh, depending on how long that actually is, because <laughs> like I said, it's quite a few clips, right? that it takes to complete that project. And depending on how long it is, 
Um, Bubs also, he did, uh, he filmed the re-decaling of this car here. And uh, we're going to, like I've got all the clips, he sent them to me. So I'm going to have to add those as well. And it's based off of length. So like, uh, again, normally I do like a 30 to 45 minutes for the uh, keeping track, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Mr. James Galton, how's it going, James? How are you today? Oh, here we go. <laughs> good day, good day, good day. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I look good. sideways in there. I don't know why. <laughs> it's all good. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. Why is my camera doing that? I don't know why. Hang on a sec. Yep. There we go. Yeah, just give me a sec there. <laughs> just yep, no worries. Something ready, that's all. No worries. Yeah, better. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why my my phone needs to do that. Yeah, things happen. Oh yeah. Okay. What are you working on today? Well, I'm going to finally, even though I bought these a while ago, now that I'm home and I got stuff to make sure they go together, I'm working on my buffers. Oh, true, true. Hey, everyone. I've actually never put these together, so we'll see how this goes. Can't imagine it being too uh, <laughs> too crazy, right? A couple of pieces there. 
Yeah. So I guess you're uh, really anxious to get uh, get going on your uh, your uh, your modules there, right? Eh? Oh yeah, I'm ready to get. I really want to get back to uh, get. I want to get the boat started. I really want it so bad. <laughs> no doubt. It's been a long couple of months. Yes, it has. Yes, it has, Lexi. <laughs> it's like, hey, I know that guy. <laughs> Hey, John, how's it going? enjoying the weathering now aren't you uh you know what i am um it's you know it's fun and uh it adds a lot of realism to you know the cars so yeah i don't mind <laughs> <laughs> like i said it makes you feel like you're uh professional <laughs> it makes it look professional you know whoops One side is darker than the other side. I like learning new skills too, you know. It's uh, yeah, can't, uh, all be, yeah. can't all be just laying track and whatnot. Oh, Perry's gonna be working on my locomotives this evening. Oh, nice. I can't wait to see the finished product. Which ones are these? Those are my two dash nines that he's got right now. The dash nines. Oh, okay. The uh, CN and the BC. Yeah. Hmm. I need to. Here we go. Just a little bit. Why does that, that loses its darkness there? Okay. Yeah, it's fun. This is a fun little car to do, and 
I like doing the uh, the graffiti on it. It was uh, it's definitely uh, different. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it with all my cars, but, uh, you know, but yeah. the ones that I do, you know, I'm going to have fun with it for sure. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I basically made the uh, the lettering here on the side almost look like the paint is running. Kind of. The black paint uh, on Yeah, I could see that. It looks, again, it looks better in person, but... No, it looks really good. I'm going to see if I can do that on the other side here as well, because uh, it should make sense, right? Oh, great. Here's trouble.
I see things what are going well. So if I join and make uh, that, you know, mess it up for you. Wait, what? <laughs> can you hear me okay? Oh, yeah, yeah we yeah, can yeah. hear you perfectly. Okay. Yeah, there was, there was a little bit of an echo there, but we're all good. Yeah, yeah. I, had the, I had the app open, sorry. I see things are going smoothly for your live show, so I thought I'd join and mess things up. Well, you are definitely a wrench in the gears. <laughs> You're ah. That's what you are. <laughs> I'm uh, using this new laptop Dave gave me, so bear with me here. I won't be on long. I just want to show everyone. Wait, you got a new laptop? Well, it's a new old one, if that makes any sense. Okay. New old one. Let's see if I can do this. That new old smell. <laughs> you see that? What are we looking at? Watching lights. Let me let dark. me go full. I'm gonna go full screen for you. That way we can. Yeah. There, make it dark. Dark. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got a train right. going. Mark, I still got that actual thing on order for you. Still, like. I'm yeah, I still want. It. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure it's still it, 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 it's in my goodie box. I just haven't seen it moved into my. It's still it's ordered. It's just not in my goodie box to be shipped yet for some reason. But okay, I will good. get that to you as soon as possible. Oh, this is a good option. My ears. There you go. Thanks, Chris, for the full screen. Yep, no problem. So what are you up to today, Mark? That was it. Oh, that was it? That's your day? You go back to bed, man. Go back to bed. That was it. So I, uh, <laughs> my oldest boy actually had one of these things, multimeter. So yep. I tested out the uh, voltage before I plugged it back in. Those yep. are brand new flashers. So. Anyway, yeah, success. No, that's good. For now. Okay, no, come do mine, please. <laughs> Give me fifty-five hours, because uh, it took me forever. Although now I'm, I'm getting better at now, but lots of money, oh. lots of time, and lots of sweat. <laughs> Well, is that expensive? Very like yeah, this thing was very expensive for Canadians because of shipping and the currency exchange. Uh, so I spent a pretty penny on it. Worth it. <laughs> I hope so. Well, I mean, you know, worst case scenario, hypothetical, because, you know, it comes up, it happens. If you do another layout, at least you can just remove it from that one. You don't have to worry about anything being broken or anything. You can just remove it and put it on your new one, right? Yep. Here True. Here you go. So it's a long term investment. Yeah. Yeah, I see Perry says no gates. I couldn't I couldn't find any Perry. They're so hard to find good ones, like And I'm definitely not going to do the operating gates to operate. Holy cow, that's way too much work. Oof. Yeah, what's that brand? Uh, BLA or BLMA or? What's that? Uh, the gates. Um, I think those are Bush. Bush? Because don't you need like um, for operating gates? Don't you need uh, like a tortoise switch machine or something? Yeah, you'll need two tortoise mm -hmm. switch machines. Yeah, forget that nonsense. <laughs> Down the road.
nuts to that. Yeah. Anyone out there buy this before the uh, the just plug landscape lights? Oh, is that the thing where it's like um, it's like a high beam light that would light up uh, something on a wall or something? Yeah. I was looking at those, uh, but I did not buy it. Yeah, good call. Why is it that bad? They're hard to install. Oh. Don't you just drill a hole and away you go? Or am I just underthinking that? That's what I did. I drill the hole and put it in, but unless it's good for the spot to shoot straight up. Yeah. But they don't really bend. You can't. It's anyway. It's hard for me. So they're getting a bad review. Well, that's no good. I'm thinking of making a um, like a scratch built like a house for it. Yeah. What would the uh, what's the premise there with that? Like the what is what is the house and the light? Uh, what what what? what oh, what, what, not house, but like um, sorry, a box for it. Oh, uh, to make like a true spotlight. Yeah. Is it too like of a like a widespread light? It's not like uh, laser. Actually, no. It's pretty. It's pretty focused. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's just hard to angle. Okay. Maybe it's me, but where did you get your uh, sensors from? Uh, model train technology. Model train technology. Okay. Guy in Florida. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, well, then I guess one. you don't want it that because I got a Canadian product that I got to still do for Chalk River, like because I still got to install my crossbucks and lights, uh, Mark. Yeah. The thing is, the system I bought, it's from Signal Logic in Edmonton. And I've heard of that. To it. Yeah. Actually, I'll show you the piece that I have. Hang on. Weren't they in Brampton uh, for that Brampton show that one time where we all showed up? Yeah, they were there. I believe I got the oh. business card, but I have no idea what I did with the business card. So. Actually, I don't have that here. That is actually sitting at Terry's place right now because that's where my modules are. Was the price good, Brennan? Eh, it actually wasn't bad. Tristan helped me get it, actually. Yeah. But he, I think he, he had an account for it. And it I got it for about 65 bucks. the whole uh, product. Huh. I still got to get sensors and all that I stuff. Go back. Somebody took my broom, but I think it's out back. Uh oh. <laughs> What's wrong? Maybe a spoon got it. What's wrong, Chris? Oh no, my uh, mother-in-law was asking for something, and I don't think she knew that I was live. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, as well, Mark, they also actually, you could get that system for, for the block signal too, if you want to ever do block signals on your layout. Yeah, I know. I don't think I'm there yet. I won't Mark. be there for a while either with Algonquin. Mark has one block. Yeah, exactly. Technically, I mean, you could probably, um, you know, do like one for your yard and then one for your main and then. It's a lot of work, though. It is, it is a lot of work. That's why we got to get Dave back to start uh, picking up the slack. 
<laughs> I guess we could announce it. Do you want to announce it? Go Wait, ahead. what? Mark. Mark, do you want to announce it? <laughs> the pre-announcement announcement? Wait, I don't know. Do you want to do it? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, didn't I tell you? Yeah, I already told you. Yeah, I told Go for it. This isn't new news. <laughs> we have conversations at least once a day. Uh, Why am I always kept out of the loop? <laughs> it's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need no. to know. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, well, get, we'll tell you right now. <laughs> Does that count? All right. All right. Okay, yeah. yes, that counts. <laughs> okay, okay. It's never too, you know, if it was... If it was uh, Friday the second that we told you, it would be too late. But if you're uh, around on the first Thursday of September, Dave Co is doing Third Rail Thursday. Yay! Yay! Guess he's back. So Dave is back. I was waiting for him to say, "Who's Dave?" <laughs> <laughs> What's a Dave? But, I thought yeah. it was Dad. You mean Dad's back? Yeah, Dad, Dadco. Dad, yeah. Dadco, yeah. <laughs> he I did see. Uh, and he brought the milk. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I see John Tusis Wayne still in the chat. So this one, so John, my uh, handiwork here. Check that out. Okay. Eh? Uh, what's that? Oh, okay. This is not an official Santa Fe locomotive. Does that count? That counts. <laughs> it's, not even, it's not even a decal or a decal. I thought you would have made that say that your 3M locomotive. My what? Your 3M locomotive. Oh. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> so now I can say I did custom work on a local world. <laughs> hey, that's how it starts. That's how yeah. it, it does. It does. It's how you know that, that good feeling that you're feeling right now, Mark? Yeah, yeah. you're going to do another one. You'll get the bug. Yeah. Sure. You won't be able to sleep tonight. He'll be tossing and turning. Ah, must weather something. <laughs> okay, before I go, I'll give you a sneak peek at the uh, spotlight that I installed or tried to install. Did you just okay. did you just install it right now? No, yesterday. Oh, one second. I think we're dark for this one. Make sure you can see it very well. It like the entire area. Wow. That's really bright. It is. Actually shift it a little bit. It's because I have the other lights on too though. Uh wait, can't you adjust the brightness there with the uh the plug? I can. Yeah, I can. I'll have to do that eventually. Anyway, looks good. It's very bright, though. Very bright. Looks really good, Mark. Thank you. You seem okay. so underwhelmed by it. Okay. <laughs> it's a spotlight. Yeah, yeah I'm not, uh, I don't know. It needs work to be, uh, to cover you don't, like it. you don't like it? It's not what I envisioned. Hmm. Hmm. I'll send you a I'll send you a photo after you'll see what I mean. Okay. Yeah, it, it might be easier to see through the, yeah. the photo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I got to go. All right. Well, you have yourself a great afternoon. You too. Thanks for letting me hop on. Yeah, no worries. Anytime. Have a good see one, Mark. You too. See ya.
So Jacko's coming back. Then what about Tim? <laughs> well, there, there's five Thursdays next month. Okay, but then when you go back to a fourth Thursday, what's going to happen? Is Dadco and Tim going to have to do a battle royale fight to the death? God, I hope so. <laughs> Wouldn't that be neat? But uh, <laughs> no, I think uh, you know Dave wants to you know try it out, right? Like he still has parenting duties and whatnot, so it's like no, yeah, that's understandable. Baby steps, baby steps. But uh, yeah, yes, get back in the game for sure. And it'll be nice to have him mm -hmm. back. Ink Rails is asking what I'm working on. I'm working on some bumpers for some siding that I'm just going to do up later. I need to get more of these sponges. I'm, I have like four left. From Michael's? Uh, from no, from the store. dollar store. Oh. These I'm definitely going to have to paint. Oh. Ink, he has all the plant kits. He found them all. Yep, every, uh, every single one. Except, oh wait, no, do I have that? Uh... Yes, wait, do I? Yes, yeah, I found that. Yeah, earlier. I found. Yeah, I found it for you. You found that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was hanging up on a wall. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, they all actually exist. not a wall. It was hanging up on a ceiling. Yeah, true. They don't really have. Uh... Most of the wall space is taken up by like cabinet. Hmm. But now you just need some other kits uh, for uh, for the ethanol series for your ethanol area. Uh, yeah, I still need those two tall storage bins. Yep. And I wouldn't mind a few more tanks. If I'm being honest. Ink, I don't know if you'll be able to find those kits because they are hard to find. It took Chris and maybe and myself a little bit there to try and find all that series. I'd say it almost took a year. Yeah, I was going to say a little bit over six months at least. Some for the hobby shop in Montreal, some from Merrick, one from one from Merrickville. Um, I think I got one. State. I got one online or two online. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't remember if I got two of them online. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I think I had found some online, and then when we went to the store, <laughs> we were like, ah, they're they're they here. were all there. Yeah. Well, yeah, because one of them I got from uh, Trains with the Z. Yeah. In the States there. I remember that when, yeah. And then Mark got you one for your birthday. Yeah. So you should try and get up to Larkspur to try and get those other tanks to uh, 
uh, add to your uh, collection that are already built. Oh, the uh, the Petrocan big ones. Petrocan, yeah. I was trying to think of Petro, yeah. Even if not for the uh, ethanol, just in general, because they, uh, you know, they're, they're, I find that they were well done for what they are. Oh, yeah. Nothing too crazy, right? So, yeah, it'd be a nice uh, display piece on the layout somewhere. Just got to find a place oh, yeah. for it. Are they going together uh, easily? Uh, I just broke one of them. Oh. But I got 12. I don't need that many, which is good. So I got a lot of spares. Dark Earth and Dark Rust. Oops. 
so I don't know if uh, anybody knows. I know you know because we we've talked about this. But um, for those of you who are in the Toronto area, if you're not doing anything on September 10th, or just clear your schedule in general, <laughs> uh, Otter Valley is doing. Uh, I'm not sure what you would call it if it's like a, an open house type thing or a dealer something a dealer open house anyways they, they put on this thing every year this is the second year that they have done this and they have manufacturers that they they sell and whatnot come out and they bring samples of the products and whatnot that um that they're gonna be selling and and whatnot um and so far so far that's confirmed is intermountain intermountain will be there which is really neat because uh, i really like intermountain uh rapido rapido is going to be there um most of my stuff is rapido so and um mini prince mini prince uh, bernard from Mini prince will be there which is cool because uh, yeah, i'm yeah. hanging out with uh, bernard for the day and uh, I think there's a few others, but I don't want to say which ones. And then if, you know, if I'm wrong, <laughs> I just can't remember all of them. Mm. But oh, Syl Sylvan scale models will be there. That that I know. Okay. Yeah. Well, when we do go up, what I can also do is we can move this, my scanner and my antenna into your vehicle and boom. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that'll help as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think Brendan and I will both be there. I'm pretty sure Brendan's coming. Yeah, like I like I said, I'll try. I'll, I just got to make sure the schedule's good. I should be off, which is good to go. So we should be good. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, and it should be a good time. Um, I enjoy going out to Otter Valley to uh, say, hey, last time we were there, it was the um, YouTuber meetup there. Uh, so, which was a few months ago. Yeah, me, it was just last month. Yeah. Yeah, you were there just, uh, just because... Yeah, made a solo trip. Because you don't need a reason to go buy trains. You just need to go buy trains. <laughs> well, you just want to go see the place, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Free samples, James said. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Don't we all wish? Apparently, there's supposed to be a presentation of some sort as well, which I'm intrigued. I don't know who's giving said presentation or what the presentation is about. But I think that's uh, one of those after hours things. So mm. that'll, that'll be neat. Gonna have to bring my tripod. Note to self, bring tripod. <laughs> well, we are going to have to bring camera here because if we do see something, we got to stop. Well, I mean, my camera is technically my phone, so that's what I mean. But I, I still have my tripod for my camera. Yeah, true, true. But it should be good because, um, you know, Lauren always does a good job of uh, hosting things like that, and uh, it always draws a crowd. That's for sure. James will be there. James, you going? Mark wants us to bring him back some Timbits. 
Oh no, Mark, you gotta go for the ride if you want the ten bits. Yeah, Mark. It's all or nothing. Free ten bits. <laughs> Timbits. I was thinking more of a bagel. <laughs> a bagel. Go for that bagel. I had a bagel this morning. You know how your day is going to be like, my day is going to be amazing. And then you ask for a yeah, toasted yeah. bagel and they just give you a bagel that's not toasted. And you're like, ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've had that happen a couple of times. It's like, I just, I just wanted a toasted bagel. <laughs> I like my bagel with my bacon, lettuce, and tomato on it. Oh, the BLT. Yes. Yeah. With a hash brown as well. Oh, yeah. I don't know why hash browns are so appealing, but they're very appealing. <laughs> they are. My, my phone is blowing up, and I have no idea why. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I think, uh, well, it was Mark saying, well, I saw a message there. Mark had said knock, knock earlier. Because I guess I didn't see him uh, pop in there. So yeah, he didn't let me know. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hmm. these don't really fit that big. I'm gonna have to glue these down though. I'm guessing later. Glue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would wait till after ballast, though. I don't know how. Oh, yeah. I, I just want to just see how they fit in here. That's all right now. Yeah. How does it, uh, what, how do you think it, it works? Like, I got the, uh, the Pike or Pico ones. I got Pico ones, but I'm like, eh, you know. Like the actual Pico track ones? They're Pico, like, you know, the little orange. I don't know if I have one here. I might have one here. Yeah, yeah, I have one here. Like, these are from Pico, and they come in the, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. It comes in that color, so you can, you can paint them or not. Oh, uh, Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely paint mine. I can tell you that right now. Well, Mark, it won't be too long of a drive for you if you ride with us. Ah, plenty of leg room. We all know he has those long bands with legs. <laughs> I'll put them in the uh, the third row. I actually have a third row of seats. I'm going to put him in the third row so he has more leg room. Oh, so the entire middle portion is going to be down so he can just stretch out and recline. There you go. He can sleep the entire way. <laughs> we get there. He's like, oh, I'm exhausted. I'm like, from what? <laughs> from all that sleeping. Mark, there's nothing wrong with riding in a truck and to tell you in a, in a trunk. And to tell you the truth, I, I, I'll do you one better. I rode in the back of a pickup truck box when I was a kid, and I turned out fine. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely a few times where my friends picked me up and they would stuff me in the trunk of their car. And they... Yep. That's what you do when you're young and... And whatnot. Hmm. 
Yeah, nothing wrong with that. No. We had until, until they start hitting speed bumps, and you're like, why? <laughs> oh, Perry's asking when this is again. Uh, it's going to be the 10th, Perry, of September. Perry, are you coming? Perry has to come. That'd be cool. Perry's like the life of the party. <laughs> Okay, so we've got another gondola done here. I'm assuming it's done. It looks done. I just got to spray it and whatnot. So, yeah. Move that one over because that's got to be sprayed. And then that one on the tracks. Try not to touch it with my fingers. And yeah, so basically I was uh, spraying them two at a time. Yeah. Uh, well, just to just to clear coat them or dull coat them before I uh, weather them. Okay. Uh, yep. So now I've got I have three left to spray, and I've got uh, another three, four, five here that uh, that I'm working on. Is that dry yet? I don't think that's dry yet. Oh, it's dry. Okay, cool. Okay. But yeah, I was telling, I was saying on here for uh, the the fourth, which is the weekend before. So the fourth of September, uh, yep. both James and Mike, Trackside Mike, they're coming out here to do some rail fanning, and uh, we're gonna go out to Smith's Falls. We're gonna take them out to Smith's Falls for the day, and uh, yeah, that'll be fun. I think I, I keep forgetting to ask Mark if he's still coming, but I told him to come. And I just told Perry to come. Mark, you should be going out, so heading track side if you can, right now. Beautiful day for it. I'm pretty sure 40B should be in the area now, almost in uh, Ottawa. The CP uh, rail business train. Didn't it already pass yesterday? Maybe well, I'm saying it's probably sitting at Toronto Station. Oh, yeah, it should be sitting at Toronto Station right now. Then. If I didn't have so many responsibilities, I'd probably be out there myself. <laughs> <laughs> and by responsibilities, I mean live show. <laughs> uh, Mark, you missed the Kodo turn. Is that what I'm asking? Is that what you're saying? Like everything that happens basically during the week of uh, when the train's up in Walkley Yard? These Monday afternoon from Kodo Junction takes all its businesses up there, works the Ottawa area, and then comes back uh, Friday night. But yeah, Mark, CP40B, it's the uh, CP's business train. It's probably at the station right about now. I don't know if you like CP as much as you. But it's a historic train. Like it's 
historical pieces. Yeah. Yeah, it should be at the Via station, Mark. It's there for the uh, Golf Open, the CP Golf Open. It may be gone by then, Mark. You better, I would say, go, go now, go now. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run, don't walk to your nearest train yard. The train yard is sitting at the station. Station. <laughs> there. And you you can all see that. I think that might be my new oh, yeah. tag. That looks good. So it's the word risk. But when you change those letters around. Let's see if anybody gets it. Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Nike. Okay, so now I gotta. Um, so that one's still. I mean, looks okay. But I really wish. See, this is the problem with these cars. This. Uh, the blue that they use is so dark. Yeah. I don't like how dark it is. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Might just be me. Well, how, you you weathered one of these. Look, you weathered this one. How did you find so it what, was gondolas? Well, no, that's the same blue right there for the uh, the ore. Oh wait! Oh, your your ore car? Yeah. Did you find that weathering it was kind of like tough? Because of the fact that that blue is so dark? No, actually, not really. No? I did not find it that hard to uh, work on. Uh, well, most of it's dark that you did there, right? Yeah. Like oh, yeah, I used, make my I light. used the pigment there. Oh, the pigment. Which is what basically you got right now, the, the weathering powders. Oh, trackside Mike wants to get on. <laughs> yeah, man. We've got about 30 minutes left on the live, but hey, better late than never. Yeah. There you go. John, you sh shouldn't be saying that. Just instead of watching sprinklers, head trackside. We gotta. We all have to wish uh, Mike a belated happy birthday as well. Oh, it was his birthday like a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. He hasn't popped in yet. Uh, nope, not yet. Oh, there he is. Trackside Mike. Good day, good day. How's it going, Mike? He's the strong, silent type. <laughs> <laughs> 
an adult beverage. Oh, a chocolate milk. <laughs> a tall chocolate milk. Not a kid's chocolate milk, but a tall chocolate milk. <laughs> ah, okay. So, you know, Mike, I can't hear a thing that you're saying. I think yeah. you're muted. Well, not that you're muted, because I can see if you're muted or not, but I definitely cannot hear anything you're saying. Testing, testing. Mr. Mike does not have a mic. No mic for Mike. Can't hear you, Mike. <laughs> Do you know sign language, Mike? <laughs> well that was inappropriate <laughs> how rude <laughs> okay so we okay so i'm gonna do he's gonna do mime okay so he's gonna he's gonna say and i'm gonna pretend to be mike okay so mike you're gonna show us what you got there eh? oh geez guys i guess what i just picked up a uh thing from uh min oh no it's a rapido no no that's the uh mini prince yeah that's the mini prince of the month not not of the month but uh from otter valley you get the police officers and uh it's perfect do you have the do you have the police car as well or is that just the uh just the police officers and the perp Okay, so it's just okay. So you get two police officers and two perps, and I believe it's eleven ninety nine at Otter Valley. That's ovrtrains.com. Mike is really good at pushing this, and uh, <laughs> and you have to clip them out and you have to paint them and put them on your layout, and they go really well with the Rapido police car do you have the police car the chevy impala the, the impala yeah yeah that's what it is wondering why it's not working why his audio is not working i'm not sure he is rocking that uh, modeler's life t-shirt in charcoal black and uh okay so he's he's working on him he's working on him right now we still can't hear what he's saying so okay so he's got the perp perp set and he's gonna he's gonna knock him out of the park here he's gonna are, are you clipping him off there or are you using a knife to uh to do that you know because he's so quiet we're gonna forget he's there <laughs> <laughs> oh private private chat here what is uh is he saying something you can't hear me no nope i wonder if he can hear me i'm sure he can hear me right like I would think so. Oh yeah, yeah, he can hear me. Yeah, thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, so he can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somehow we're lost in translation here. Hmm. 
So, Mike, are you excited to come out to Ottawa? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, will you be coming out to uh, Otter Valley on uh, the 10th? Come hang out. Mike, would you like to plug your show for Monday? Because that's tomorrow. You got a live show coming up tomorrow. Off the tracks, Monday at 7. So you guys switched to 7. That, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a decent time, right? Like, uh, these are prime times. You know, people just finished dinner. They want to sit down and watch a relaxing show. And uh, you guys are going to provide that to them. I'm actually wondering who's uh, on this time, this, this Monday. You were on there uh, last week, right? Or no? Yeah, and then we. No, I, I I showed up a little bit last week, and then I had to get off uh, quick. Uh, then I had to get off though because I was using the Wi-Fi where I was, and they were closing up the building, so I had to leave. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, derail. Daryl was on there as well. Yeah. Came out pretty good. What came out good? My gone. On one side so far. Neat. Yeah. Apparently, uh, Scale Trains is doing a, another run of the ES44 CN um, 100. More numbers, apparently. Oh, okay. 
Didn't know if anybody was interested. But oh, uh, Mark just got lunch. Well, did you did you get some for everyone? Can't just sit there and eat in front of all of us. No, he said lunch is here. See you, chat. He just oh. took off. Oh. Huh? What a guy. I know. <laughs> oh, jeez. Flag cars? I don't know. Yeah, for some reason, they do make an awful lot of the, the bigger locomotives, and a lot of the small ones get overlooked because of that. There was um, there was a while there where literally every manufacturer was just putting out SD40s. It, it was weird. And it's like, you know, you'd think that they'd correlate a little bit better and say, hey, we're doing this, you know, maybe you do this. Uh, you think that, but of course, everyone wants to get their product out there. Yeah. Oh, mine's better than theirs. You know, such and such. Yeah, it's like a directly indirect, you know, thing, right? Yeah. Especially when you've got like two manufacturers doing the exact same product, right? Like Intermountain and Scale Trains both doing ES44s and you know, the Canadian scheme or the Canada scheme with the uh, military units and all that. And it's like, come on. <laughs> yeah. And Intermountain's been around a while. So it's like. Yeah. Well, not only that, also Akron has her ES44 too. Yeah. But they do a lot of American stuff mostly. I find that Athern is mostly American based opposed to Canadian based models. Oh yeah. Which I don't blame, right? Because it's American companies. So it's like, you know, do what you think is gonna sell, but I just think that the that we get overlooked sometimes with stuff like that. But whenever they do come out with Canadian stuff, it just sells like hotcakes. Yep. That's for true.
Uh, CP368, the uh, scrap metal gondolas, um, I mean, they, they might be very similar. Uh, I know that uh, they do carry a lot of uh, trash and whatnot. I don't know if it would include scrap metal, but um, Otter Valley is doing their own run of cars. And the next one that they're doing, or I guess the first one that they're doing, is the, uh, the garbage cars. So something to look forward to. If that's what you're referring to, that is. I'm pretty sure it is, but... Aren't they rotary dump? Yeah, they work in the rotary dump. Cause I'm, I even asked Lauren. I said, "Do you do you have any of the rot rotary dumps from Walters in stock?" And he's like, "Yeah, I stocked up on them just for this occasion." And I'm like, "Well, that's perfect. That uh, you know, as far as the selling point, I mean, that sells itself." Oh yeah, you buy the car, get the dump. I will be excited to get these cars done. So many. <laughs> Way too many. And that's without getting that new set that just released, too. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah. are you going to be getting O and R's, or are you going to get to the end? So that's the thing, right? Like, because I feel like I have enough, as if that's a real O and R. Yeah, like I've got 12, 12 O and R, and yeah. I've got two CN, mm -hmm. all different numbers, and uh, like I'm okay with that. You know, like, do I need more? Probably not. Will I get more? Who knows? But, you know, I noticed that when they come out, right, they come out at the same time that the uh, F-59s come out. And it's like, yeah. what am I more likely to get here? <laughs> something I already have or, you know, something I don't already have? No, that's fair.
so yeah, when I saw your um, I guess you took out that little fuel depot there on the first level there, and you you're gonna move the bakery there. So yeah. Huh. So where's your car tank? I know your car tank cars are gonna go to the ethanol plant, but where are they gonna deliver to? Yeah, I'm still sorting that out. <laughs> okay. I mean, like my idea is to put the bakery somewhere else. I did kind of sit it there, but I think either way, I need to redo that track overall. Oh. I just don't, I didn't like how I did that. Okay. So I'll, I'll have to sort that out, but yeah, I just, I didn't like it. I don't know why, but. I think we've all been there once or twice where you do something and then you you second guess it and you're like yeah. it would look better if i did this cp368 says he needs 119 people to uh subscribers to reach uh, 300. almost he needs 11. It takes a while. <laughs> it does. It does. Hmm, actually, I got to show you this box I bought there the other day. All right. So, ooh, careful. I got this the other day. And, oh, the try. Yeah, I picked this up there. So, and I'm going to actually try the locomotives to see uh, if they fit on there. Right on. I just I think yeah they're buried at the moment <laughs> if you need any shelves like uh what I what I made for my wall here let me know oh yeah I'd love that it's just I really can't uh, put shelving up in like the, the apartment I have oh really uh -huh. yeah yeah it was a display case John No, oh, James is off. Have a good one, James. Have a good one, James. Oh, it's two o'clock. I think I'm just gonna finish up this car here and then we'll wrap up. Hmm. I bought it there, John. So I'm actually gonna put one of my F fifty nines in there just to see if it fits with uh with boys wise. And if it does and I know my big boys are going to fit in there, no problem. Where both did you get that shelf? I bought this up where I work, where I was working this summer. Ah, uh, okay. Probably wasn't a train store, eh? No. <laughs> this was two twenty-five total after <laughs> taxes. That's not bad. There, there's it's definitely something that's not cheap. Okay. All right. I'm gonna truth.
I got it in there, and it looks good. Is it snug or is it? Uh... It actually, uh, it's not bad. Yeah. If you guys want to take a peek here. Oh yeah. So do you think it would fit in ES44 or is it just I think it will fit the uh I think it will fit the uh the ACUs. Yeah. I just wanted to check it with wise. Yeah. But yeah, it fits in there, no problem. Yeah, it works pretty good. Hmm. Not too shabby. Well, and what I may do there is cut some track to actually sit it on as well. So, uh... I may do that as well. That's a that's a question I actually get asked a lot with my wall shelf. Is that you know mm -hmm. are you going to put um, track on each of those things? And you know I thought about it and it's like well, yeah, it would make sense, right? And there's lots of room where I can put it on on there, and there's still like a lots of height, you know, between that and the next shelf up, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, each one of those are six feet, so that means I would need at least two tracks for each shelf yeah uh and there's one two three four five six seven eight yeah so that's 16 pieces of track right there that's almost a full box <laughs> yeah two hundred dollars <laughs> and my layout needs lots more track so <laughs> i would sooner buy track for my layout and then worry about that like later later yeah if that makes sense it sounds like i'm being cheap but really i'm just trying to be smart <laughs> ah just trying to set myself up here for a second uh there we go There we go. All right. So I show you the well, I can probably show you the card, but it's like I move them over to the side here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because uh well, okay, can I do this? Can I do it? No, I can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> I'm like, where did all that extension go? So there's the uh, the one car there. Yeah. Um, you can kind of see it. Uh, it is weathered. And I got the uh, little sticker things off there so that uh, you can kind of see the tee box and whatnot. Yep. Uh, this car here, I just weathered. It honestly looks more weathered in person. I don't know why it looks less weathered when I put it on camera. Like even the inside, that's all rusted. Uh, same thing with this car here. This one I did a lot of. Like, guess if you well here I can do this. Whoops, sorry. This is what it's. Uh, you can kind of see the brightness difference here when I do this. So this one's clean. Yeah. And then that one's weathered. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's the lighting, though. Yeah, I think it's the lighting. Oh, well. <laughs> Huh. 
All right. So we'll wrap up here. Um, did you have any videos or anything that you wanted to plug? Anything you want to let us know? Videos coming out or anything? Uh, nothing at the moment just yet. I got to wait till I'm on summer vacation really to try and get some photos down the line. So we'll see what happens from there. All right. Um, other than that, it's not much. Hmm. Um, for myself, uh, I put out a video this morning, the two year yep. layout build, uh, overview last two years. Uh, that was fun. Uh, I do the, uh, every, every Sunday we're here doing this, uh, unless, you know, something comes up. Uh, I'm probably going to run trains this Wednesday because it's been a minute since I ran trains <laughs> on a Wednesday. Uh, and, um, I've got keeping track coming up yep. and Thursday I've got, uh, it's, this is my week for third rail Thursday. And, uh, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be working on. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I have an idea, but again, at the same time, yeah, I have no idea, but hmm. we'll see, we'll see what happens on Thursday. I, I have, I have time to, to, to work out the, the plan. And, uh, so, oh yeah. So I was supposed to go away last weekend. Yeah. And, um, that's why Mark took the Thursday for last week. Uh, yep. so instead I'm going away at the end of the month. So unfortunately, um, uh, and I'll mention this again on Thursday, there isn't going to be a GVO after dark this month. I know. Right. So, uh, <laughs> So I think one of the guys is, are going to go live instead. And uh, as soon as I find out who, I'm pretty sure it was Tim. I think Tim said that he wanted to do a live uh, on at 8 o'clock on Thursday. Okay. But uh, I'll, I'll find out for sure. But they're still going to be keeping track given I get that project uh, done and finalized, hopefully, this week. Yeah. It's one of those things where you do one thing and you have to wait like an hour to two hours for something to dry. And then you come back, do some little thing, and then you have to wait again. And it's there's quite a process to it. So um, it's taking a long, long time to finish. But, you know, at the same time, I don't want to rush as well, right? No, no one wants to rush. You want no. to take your time with what you want to work on. Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, hopefully, like I said, hopefully I can finish or we'll do a part one and a part two. Maybe I'll do part two next month. That way it kind of, uh, extends it, uh, to next, next month so that I can kind of, it gives me something to also add next month. And also you, you gave me the, the clips for when you renumbered this. So I'm going to be also adding that as a segment as well, which is cool. Okay. And I think that this stirrup or step fell off one of my gondolas. So I'm going to have to re-glue that <laughs> before I lose it. And uh, yeah. Okay. Other than that, other than that, anything else? Uh, if you guys do try to catch it there today, uh, CP40B is coming. Mm -hmm. It's, oh, and on the front, it's three F units. Three F units. Yeah. Oh, wow. So like a F9, F7? Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's three F9s. Oh, neat. So they wouldn't do an F, F, uh, ABA or something like that, right? It would be... I, well, I don't know what they did with their uh, B units that they used to have. I, hmm. I, it's just three uh, A units, it looks like, that they have. That's all. Hmm. That, that would be On fun to train. Play. Do you know the route that they're going? So they're in Toronto well, right now, right? Yeah, so they'll probably be taking the Belleville right up to Smith Falls. They'll probably wide the train in Smith Falls, and then they'll go up the Smith Falls subdivision to Ottawa. Neat. Well, if you're out and about today, hopefully I catch some guys catch some pictures or something, you know? Oh, yeah. 
All right. Well, that being said, uh, thanks to those who jumped on today and Bubs, thank you so much yep. as well for uh, joining me and doing some work on your, uh, what are they called again? Bumpers? Well, bumpers. And I did a little bit of weathering of that uh, gondola as well. Mm. And uh, we will be back next week for more, but uh, we'll see you on Wednesday uh, for running trains live on that. You guys have yourselves a great week. And we'll see you real soon. You too. Have a good one. See ya.